Storms here and welcome back to my channel. It's February, the month of love. How about we apply some feeling of appreciation and passion to our nursing career. If you are in the same field as mine, hemodialysis, let's pause, appreciate, rekindle the passion and remember the very first day of our training because today I will be talking about priming and setting up the hemodialysis machine the very basic of hemodialysis however if you are still in the lookout of what career in nursing best suits you then keep watching as this might just be what you're looking for So the material we need is a pack of bloodlines. This is Diastream bloodlines designed for dialogue machine which is the machine that we are going to prime and set up. The Bron dialogue machine. So this pack of bloodlines comes with first the infusion line and second is the lure lock then of course the bloodlines so we have here the blue ones and the red ones red for arterial and blue for venous let's start with the arterial line do not remove the paper cord ties or else this might turn into a tangled mess let's start with the drip chamber place it reverse onto the holder in my case I just clip it for easy removal once filled Next, the dialyzer end, remove the cord tie, carefully untangle it, and place it onto the dialyzer clamp or holder. Then close the small clamp nearby the chamber. Open the blood pump cover, insert the blood pump segment into the blood pump housing. Tip. Attach the left end before the hook-like feature of the pump, turn it clockwise and see how the segment easily glides into the housing. Then close the cover. You will know if your segment is properly placed if your right end is your heparin infusion line while your left end is your arterial transducer line. Then. Close the clamps of both transducer line and the heparin infusion line. Then you're left to the patient's end line. It should be this long since this will be the one you will hook to the patient. Place the patient's end somewhere it can hold on to. And don't forget the extra line to clip as well. I secured it this way to avoid from falling. Let's move on to the venous line. Just what we did with the arterial line, we are also going to start with the drip chamber. However, this time we are going to put it in a proper direction and not in a reversed manner. Then thread the lower line into the air detector housing and close the small clamp just above the drip chamber. Also include the transducer clamp. Move it closer to the top part of the drip chamber for the water to not easily reach the transducer. Remove the paper cord tie, find the dialyzer end, carefully untangle it, and place it onto the dialyzer clamp or holder. Now for the patient's end line. Safely clip a part of its line. Then for the venous patient's end, we are going to connect it to the arterial patient's end. I know this looks weird, but I have a habit of transferring the connector from the arterial patient's end to the venous patient's end 
just for some oziness by the time I hook this into the drainage bin. Then carefully secure it to avoid it from accidentally falling. Once everything is set up, it's time to do some arrangements. I tend to place the venous line onto the clip before connecting the arterial and venous pressure pods to their respective transducers. Next up, IV infusion line. Remove the paper cord tie. Remove the spike cover. Open the saline, then spike this saline. Close the roller clamp. Whichever you do first, it's your call. Then connect the infusion end to the saline port of the arterial line. Now let's prime. Open the roller clamp, press the saline to assist in filling the venous line with saline by gravity. Observe the lines and once the saline reaches the venous dialyzer end, close the big venous clamp. For the arterial line, you can actually prime it even if the machine is not turned on. Open the pump cover and turn the blood pump manually by using your hand or using a hand crank. The reason why the arterial chamber is placed in a reverse manner, this is to expel air while the saline is filling the chamber. Once it reaches half of the chamber, Turn it into its proper placement and place it on TV holder. Stop the blood pump once the saline reaches the arterial dialyzer end. As what you have seen, you can set up the blood lines ahead and prime it even with the machine turned off. What I did was manual turning of the blood pump to push the saline and prime the blood lines. This is actually the same process that we do during blackout, especially to the old machines that have no built-in batteries. We have to manually turn the blood pump until the generator starts working and the power in the machine is back running okay so that's it next video will be the actual priming and setting up of the machine that includes connecting the dialysate and coupling the dialyzer hope you've learned something from this video and if yes don't forget to click like leave a comment for video suggestion and of course subscribe to my channel stay tuned for my next videos as i take you with me in discovering nursing career thanks for watching bye bye